Next problem, problem number 9. That is also related to calculation of covariance. The problem goes like this. Daily closing prices of two stocks arranged as per the returns calculate covariance. Three columns are there. Date 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is there. And the C company returns are there. And Z company returns are there. So, that has to be converted into X and Y series. So, let C company returns be X. Let Z company returns be Y. This is the first thing because it is not given as X and Y here. So, we have to name them as X and Y series. 1 1.8, 1 1.5, 1 2.1, 2.4, 0 0.2 for C company that is X. For Y that is Z company 2.3, 2.5, 4.3, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4. And 2.2. So I have written the problem as it is. As I told you, C company returns will be X, Z company returns will be Y. Now, first is how many pairs are there? So there are 5 pairs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is N is equal to 5. Then go for totaling of X column as well as the total of the Y column. X column total is 8. Y column total is 17.6. So first with the help of X and Y we have to find the simple mean. We call it as X bar and Y bar. So X series average as well as Y series average we are going to find here. So average of X will be 8 by 50, 8 by 5 that is 1.6. The average of Y series 17.6 divided by 5, 3.52. So with the help of that, now we have to find the deviation between the actual X values, actual returns and the average returns. So let me go for that, that is called as small x. So small x, first let me substitute the actual X values. Then let me substitute the X bar value that is 1.6. So now we go for difference 1.8 minus 1.6, 0 0.2, then 1.5 minus 1.6 minus 0 0.1, then plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8 then 2 minus 1.6 minus 1 1.4 after finding the deviation for x that is uh, small x we will go for finding the small y, the difference between y and y bar. So let me substitute first the values of y from the series given here. So same values. After finding the x value, x y, uh, x bar, you have a value as 3.5. Let me substitute that 3.52. So we have to go for y value, y value minus y bar. So here 2.5 minus 3.52 that becomes minus 1.02. Next. 
zero point seven eight plus zero point nine eight zero point five eight minus one point three two minus one point three two so this is the value of uh, y that is the deviation the next column the last column means we have to multiply small x value into small y that is the deviations of x and deviations of y so we have, when we go for it we have to be careful again 0.2 minus 1.02 here is plus here is minus the result will be minus plus into minus 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 0.204 then here one is minus that is minus 0.1 plus 0.78 so again minus 0.078 next plus values are there 0.5 multiplied by multiplied by 0.98 plus value next is also plus value next is also be careful minus into minus it is a plus value again 1.848 minus into minus plus so then we have to go for totaling here we have three plus values and two minus values so we have to find the difference between the two and whichever is more that symbol to be taken if you look at this plus is more minus is less the total value of that is 2.52 plus value because plus is more so this plus minus the two values there this will be used for finding the covariance 2.52 divided by 5 you get 0.504 So this is positive relation between two shares returns x and y, or can say otherwise the returns of C company and returns of Z company. So if we conclude, conclusion. The outcome is positive value. The outcome is positive value means the covariance value is a positive value, which shows that the two company stocks will move. together in a positive direction both are related if c company returns become more z company returns also become more that is the positive direction that is the covariance of x and y denote